Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to some more Hydroneer. Uh, yes, I just had to come back and do a little more uh, fine-tuning on the system here. I wasn't, again, I said I wasn't going to let this go, and needless, needless to say, I haven't. Uh, I have done uh, some work, and one of the things I have done is I actually installed a mod. It's the F7 mod by Halos. Uh, if you go onto the Hydroneer Discord, you can find it in the Hydro Modding Tech Channel. It's pinned in the top there. Uh, as you can see, it uh, allows you to set time of day. I have it locked right now, you know, for recording purposes, right? And uh, someone suggested I should uh, use that for taking screenshots and stuff like that. But uh, needless to say, I built this the wrong way so it doesn't get proper lighting, but that's fine. That's what Photoshop's for. Uh, but needless to say, there's other things in here like Tidy World that'll take any objects that aren't placed down. That is actually placed down, but uh, things like uh, conveyors and whatnot that drop through the dirt to end up on the bedrock. If you hit Tidy World, it'll type take all the loose unplaced items and put them into the back of the truck for you. Uh, you can also spawn items in and change key bindings but the only reason why I have this is I'm going to use this for, uh, just because you know uh, sometimes I record and I go and hit in the bed and I have to stand here for five minutes waiting for it to get light enough so it's recordable. But anyways uh, one of the main reasons why I did this is to allow me to delete the, the lag in the world and uh, needless to say after the last episode I Pretty sure I didn't do this in the last episode, but I was going through a save editor and there was 13,000 entities in my world, and that was basically my uh, my gem buckets. That's why there was so much lag picking them up. So I went ahead and cleaned everything up, and my uh, let's say my save file went from 10 and a half megs down to two megs. So that's pretty good. So I use this for uh, cleaning up. I'm not going to do that just yet because I have done a few changes on the system here. Uh, one of the things I don't know if I mentioned it last time, but I was putting the ramps in here. Then uh, it was suggested to put windows here because they were still getting stuck on the edge. And then something else I did is there's actually a post, and you can get that in the store. It actually holds up the ramps in the display case for five bucks. And that's just to keep stuff from going underneath there. Uh, this is just me for a ladder so I can get up here without dropping down the conveyor. Uh, but I was having issues with stuff not ending up in the crucibles. And uh, one of the things I tried to do is I actually tried. Doing, I think it's called a funnel veer, or just a series of funnels going down to the crucible, but that made an absolute horrible mess, so that wasn't working. And then I tried doing what Dre did, where I took the, the funnel and I actually clipped it into the crucible, but the crucible didn't like that and tried to base through the, the concrete block and through time and space itself, so I just stopped that. So then I decided, well, let's try things differently, because it was working in... It's working pretty good with the setup I had before, so what I've done is I've actually brought the preferences back up to the top. And I'll just get up here, as soon as I can get up there. And, hang on. No, I didn't fall off, that was your imagination. Uh, so what I've done is I've brought, the, brought it up here, and it's, I can actually drop it there and get it fairly close to the center. Uh, and then I started thinking, well... You know, I was still having problems with that, so I thought, well, maybe it's pressure. You know, I had full pressure going to the system, and I was hoping that's what I needed, but that was too much. So what I've done is I've actually moved this chamber over here, which used to be here. Uh, being here, it's still 24 sections to the next booster, so this is still outputting full pressure. Uh, that actually gives a little bit more pressure on this side, but I took these boosters out. Well, there's that one's still there, but there's no, no shard bar in it. So that way it reduces the pressure, it's down about 30% less than what it was. And then the back side here still needed a little bit more, so I put, uh, put another T here, change it up, and I have this booster going into another line which loops around to create that buffer, and then I just adjusted it to what I need. And so far it actually runs really good. I can have it going 10 minutes and only have maybe 5 or 6 nuggets missed the, the bucket. So that is good. So I have everything repaired. Everything should be turned on. Yes. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick tidy up of the world here. We'll go delete all the items and go from there. So now it's just a matter of running it. I do have everything in place. So what I want to do is I actually want to try to get at least an hour going out of this. And i feeling pretty confident about this. I had it going for about five minutes. It was about 19,000 in gold. So... That's pretty good. Uh, I did take all the gold bars I had. I was trying to do what Dre was doing. I started cutting the bars. I started having this big pile. It's like, I better stop because I wasn't getting the tiny bars he was getting. But I forgot I had a bar there worth about 200,000. So I got 356,000 in gold alone there. 
So, let's see what we can get in a couple of hours. So, I have the harvesters up and running. I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, drills up and going. And watch our nugget of high, how we have nuggets. Now, the only thing about the F7 menu is it doesn't actually take out the shards. So, uh, that is one thing. Not that it really matters. You don't get as many of them as you normally do. But everything has been moving pretty good. One thing about the F7 menu about being able to delete items is when uh, when you stop your system or you you reload for lag purposes that you get stuff stuck on the the belts and they don't move and they don't actually update until you move them either with a magnet on a stick or you pick them up or something like that. But as you can see, it is doing pretty good. You can get the odd one missing out. I could probably use a tad more pressure but I think it's fairly good so I'm gonna let this go for a while until I run out of tools or everything breaks down or I lag all the hell and I'll bring you back and we'll see how much gold I got so I right, shall return oh I should mention too um, in order to keep this going I do plan every once in a while once it starts to get bad to actually use the F7 menu just to delete any entities that are around just because things do get stuck inside underneath the conveyors and in the conveyor vertical conveyors and, and anything that clips to the ground and then what you can see right there so pressure is a little bit of adjustment but uh, we'll go from there so I'll see you shortly okay I'm back I've had this thing running for about a little over two hours now and it took me about half an hour to find this one gem and uh, needless to say it went pretty good I did it was about every five ten fifteen minutes I've had to use a whole delete menu here but uh, for the most part it is pretty good uh, so now to tally up our gold supply so I've decided I'm gonna make a really expensive necklace that's 356,000 right there let's find out how much gold we have so when we go up here yeah, spelts are cleared already. I cleared up, cleared them out. I was getting some lag. Actually, no, they're not all cleared. Let them run though. But we're gonna do this blind. We're gonna oh look at that little mini iron bar there. I forgot about that guy. How much is that worth? Three bucks. Cool. We're gonna have to make a tiny little dagger out of that, or oh, we can try to make a small sword. I might put the gold there. Now we're gonna go get the iron. Let's see what we got for the iron. Go back up here. Yes, I know I could be using slopes. I'm just too lazy to deal with it. So we'll go over here and grab the iron. Now, I don't know exactly how much is gonna be here. I'm, I'm hoping that I'll be able to make a two million dollar necklace or two million hydro coin necklace. We'll see how it goes. That's why I wasn't gonna even waste the effort on a tiny little gem on this. It's gonna be a big one. And then we can grab our shards. Again, the the minute stuff around them I don't care about. Not really. Okay. So let's uh get that off the end. Alright, let's check out the shards. Let's see what we have here. Eight hundred. I'm not sure but I think that's Biggest shard bar I've had. I think I've, before this was like 560 or something. Alright, so now the iron. 90,000 on the iron. Not bad, I can't remember what my average was. But now for the, the, ink, uh, the gold. That's not bad. You know, surprisingly though, I was making more the first time before I changed it all over. But still, that's 420,000. Plus this is three quarters of a million before we make it into a necklace. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put that in there, we're putting that in there, sure. Uh, change you to necklace. Get this out of the way. And one, two, and need that emerald. Uh -oh. Uh oh, did I lose it already? No, right there, it's hiding a shy gem that doesn't have very good balance either okay uh, we're not even gonna look at that all right so what do I have here for iron uh, let's see what was this sword swords three 
Sure, we'll make a big sword. Eh, just for the hell of it. Make a tiny little dagger. Put that in there for now. Um, hmm. Let me see what I have here. This was the 90,000. And I have 9,000 there. 20,000. And that. Yeah, so I'm going to melt those up and yeah, I'll meet you. Bring you back when it's all said and done. Get in there. Come on, you could do it. Okay, here we are. So that's what we got. So I went ahead and made the sword anyway. So the sword's up. And the amulet's up. Cool. So, uh, let's start by finding a little dagger. I had to put it in here somewhere. By the way, that's a big sword. Hmm. It's under here somewhere. Do, 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 do. Oh, there it is. It's hiding underneath my money. Come on, get out of there. Whatever. I don't need it. I can afford another one. Okay. Uh, oh, daggers are down. Oh, jeez. We better sleep on it. Four bucks. I'm rich. Yay. Okay. Uh, let's start with the sword. Swords are up. This is... No idea, I haven't actually weighed it. Wow, that's actually really good for a sword. Okay, now... Is this going to push me over a million? Actually, it should because it's... I have to watch that because I watched Dre drop one and it, it disappeared into nothingness. Alright, uh, let's see if we get a million. There we go. Million dollar day. I'm happy. 1.3. And, uh... No. Not in one day, because... 350 of that was from before. I'll take it. Max really does have to make those coin sizes a lot bigger. One of these stacks. When you get to a million, it should be... You know, a nice big pile like this, or... What as big as this house. But... That makes me rich because not only do I have 1.3 million there, I have 829,000 there, I have 300,000 here, and I still have 300,000 in Bridgeport. So I am, what, 3 million and nothing to buy. But I think it's a good place to call it. Uh, probably next time I see you in, in this series anyways, it'll be in version 1.5. We got some, or 1.3. Uh, we have some interesting toys coming up. We got David, uh, the the better half of Goliath. We'll see how that works. I haven't actually seen too much of the, the dev videos. Stop. Come on, hit the brakes. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, we also got improved funnels. So the funnels will be catching a little bit stuff a bit better. And I do believe that I think the crucible is actually getting re replaced by the smelter. I think... Or it's uh, an upgraded version of the, the crucible and the furnace, I'm not too sure, but it all fits in perfect with the funnel, so a loss won't be an issue. So uh, if collection works out and I don't get a lag, I might be able to actually double this up. Uh, but Max is suggesting a fresh start too, so we'll probably have to go that route. But anyways, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later. Later.